This is video, so you're gonna have to tell oh. me who you are and what you're doing. Oh god damn it! All right. uh, Perfect. All right, let's roll camera. Right, Take two. <laughs> I am Dirtbag. Um, I have hiked the Pacific. I'm hiking the Pacific Crest Trail this year from Mexico to Canada was my intention. I got to Truckee. There was a fire. Flipped up to Canada. Now I'm gonna go, well, to Canada, then down back to Truckee, and uh, hopefully I make it this year. The third. Second attempt at the PCT, so we'll see. Describe what it feels like. Amazing. Uh, every day is a hard day, and every day is an amazing day at the same time. The views are always wonderful. Also, not many people get to do this, and uh, I feel kind of lucky in that regard that I get to kind of quit life and go see something else in a different light, you know? So it's kind of cool. Every day, get up. Drink your coffee and walk. Eat and walk. That's all we got. That is basically the trail, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you're going to Mexico. I'm going to, I don't know. <laughs> but it's, it's an awesome time. Get out and hike trails. It's a good time. Dude, Dirk Bag, it's been a pleasure meeting you, man. Oh, yeah. Thanks so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Straight from the heart, but he's really nice. Yeah. He's the first hiker I've met actually in Seattle. Oh, sorry, what am I going to do? We gotta connect. Oh, about that? No. I'm at the ski lifts right now, right above Stevens Pass, kind of in a rush. Gotta catch up to Cinnamon, who left her trekking poles in town, and she's definitely like at least an hour or something ahead of me. I got caught up in town trying to get some work done before I left. So yeah, just kind of rushing down the ski lift now on the other side, go catch up to her. And yeah, she needs them to set up her tent and everything. So town is nice. It's good to get cleaned up and uh, all that beautiful stuff. Is this in focus? Yeah, it's in focus. But yeah, it feels great to be back on trail now and hiking like, oh my God, I love it out here. I'm like so happy right now. It's, it's incredible. It really is. I wish. I had more words to say, but I gotta go. See ya. Oh, it smells. Oh, this is a terrible idea. Oh, God. Okay, it's warm now. See the bubbles? Today's day 16, kind of off to a late start, but I caught back up to Cinnamon, returned the trekking poles, and yeah, I don't know, hiked into the sunset, had a nice little deli sandwich lunch at the, at the lake, and now I'm just kind of hiking. We only got like 50 some miles to go to get to Snoqualmie Pass, and this section's been really chill so far. It's like pretty easy walking compared to how that last stretch was. It's a really odd sky today. It's the middle of the day, but it kind of looks like sunset back there. It also feels like it might rain on us. <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> Should be good for the fires, but probably feel good too. Not so good for the camera though.
just a slight drizzle for the last probably 45 minutes. Just enough to be refreshing, didn't need the rain jacket or anything else. Kind of a really nice change of pace and perfect hiking weather with these clouds. I'm just trying to eat dinner, but the mosquitoes are eating us alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an amazing place though. Truly spectacular. Like five miles into the day, we decided to take a little detour on the Waptis Lake Trail, walk this beautiful lake, and go for a midday swim. Don't ever be so busy in life that you can't take time to enjoy the little moments, the, the natural beauty. We ended up hiking until like 10 o'clock last night. Did I think 24 miles or something. Yeah, I ended up hiking way too late. And the campsites were all taken at the waterfall here where we tried to go. So we found this just like crazy little sloped area with a giant sharp rock sticking up in it and we made it work. Good morning. <laughs> So we just went across the Kendall catwalk and descended like way down into town. There's no Kwame Pass. And yeah, what a section. Kendall catwalk, a place I will not soon forget. And yeah, now we get showers and bed and food and the finer things in life. Are you comfortable with that? Hell no, but do it anyway. <laughs> okay, I love that. Okay, I'm Grizzly Gramp. I am uh, forgot my real name, it's been a while. <laughs> I have no outstanding warrants. Uh, I'm on the trail, and I'm still on the trail because I'm stupid and stubborn, otherwise I'd get off. I should be in Ireland right now with Dutters and True Irish, but no. Drinking Guinness, yeah, there's a thing. Oh, I have a PVR upstairs I have to go get in a minute. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm doing the PCT. I got a thousand miles left before I have to do the 61 and a half miles with this young lady over here. <laughs> so that's my whole story. It's my whole life. What was your inspiration? Inspiration? I got drunk and stupid. Saw a video on YouTube and said, oh, I'm gonna try that. Any more hard questions? Yeah, can you explain like your personal possessions? My personal possessions. Everything I own is in my backpack now. At my older sister's house, I have a box of legal documents and that's it. Oh, and some camping gear, car camping gear that I gave to my son-in-law and daughter-in-law that they insist they're holding for. Other than that, I got nothing. And why is that? What happened? Uh, I wanted to hike and I knew that if I still had a home to go home to, I would quit. So I got on the trail and every time I wanted to quit, it's like, oh, I can't quit. I got no home now. So I kept going. And I was 239 pounds before I started the Appalachian Trail. Now, I'm skinny. <laughs> Describe what it feels like out here. <clears throat> no, I can't use bad language because you might post this online. <laughs> Am I enjoying it? Sometimes. Not up the damn hills in Washington State, though. We got too many damn hills. And the trail's 95% uphill whether you go north or south. I've discovered this too. The hell, you knew that. All right, am I done yet? Uh, you have one more question then. Oh, shit. Um, do you have any, like, words of encouragement or advice for other people that would like to do this? Oh, people who have never hiked before? Uh, don't do it. <laughs> Drive. Drive to the site. <laughs> Get a freaking camper. <laughs> Anything but this shit. It's hard. Is that enough? That's enough. Yay! <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. So easy, huh? Huh. Is the camera in your, in your face? Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. Now it's her turn. Of you. I know. Did you already do one on her? No. no. Not yet. No. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Not ready. Yay! Yay! <laughs> You're gonna support for me too. <laughs> And if you do uh, hike, don't smoke. <laughs>